Yes, Tla, you start. Okay, okay. So, uh, welcome you all. Welcome to this uh, Zoom meeting where we celebrate the 100th anniversary of the foundation of uh, the journal Acta Scienciarum Mathematicarum, or Acta Seged for short. Uh, thank you very much for joining. I'm Lajos Molnar, uh, mm -hmm. the, the current uh, editor in chief. Uh, as you know, it, it is a broad in scope journal, but its uh, main emphasis is um, no doubt uh, on functional analysis and uh, operator theory. Uh, the aim of the present meeting is uh, for the community of uh, researchers in, in those areas uh, to celebrate this memorable event. Uh, the owner of the journal is the Boyai Institute of the University of Szeged. This is the Mathematical Institute of the University here. And I now turn to Professor Ferenc Fodor, the head of the Institute, and uh, I ask him to say some welcoming words and open the meeting. Yes, thank you very much uh, for the introduction. Uh, and uh, it is my great pleasure and honor to welcome you all on behalf of the Boya Institute of the University of Szeged uh, to this special conference, uh, as Lajos already mentioned, celebrating the 100th anniversary of the foundation of our journal uh, the Acta Scientiarum Mathematicarum Seged. Uh, this meeting is also an occasion to celebrate uh, the renewal of Acta. After 100 years, uh, starting from this year, January 1st, 2022, the journal is produced and published by Springer Berkheiser. Um, Acta has always been, well, it has been one of the flagships of Hungarian mathematics uh, for a century. Um, functional analysis and operator theory have always been focal points of Octa's scientific spectrum. So we do hope that this uh, tradition will continue and the transition to Springer, Springer will only reinforce Octa's position in the mathematical universe. Um, actually, we are very proud and glad to see that uh, there is so much interest in the conference uh, that's reflected in the large number of participants. Mm -hmm. And a special welcome is due to our distinguished speakers. Uh, who are also contributors to the anniversary double issue of Okta uh, that's uh, supposed to appear soon. So thank you for joining us from around the world online. And hereby I declare the conference open. I wish you all a successful and enjoyable meeting. So thank you very much and enjoy the talks. Uh, thank you so much. Um, in the meantime, uh, Gilles Pissier sent a message to me and uh, wrote that can't find the link. Uh, Silvia, can you handle this uh, problem? Uh, he, he just arrived, he's on the list. Oh, great, 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 great. Fine. Uh, are you sure that he's here? Yes, he must he, be here. Yes, okay, I can see. Fine, 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 fine. So, okay, uh, thank you very much. Uh, and uh, after this, I'm going to give a presentation about the journal, about its history and its uh, recent uh, renewal. But before I do that, some technical details and requests concerning the Zoom platform uh, follow. So the meeting is hosted by yes. Silvia Simeonato uh, from uh, Springer Nature and co-hosted uh, by me. Uh, uh, hopefully you use your full name when joining the meeting. That helps uh, the clear identification. If it was not the case, you may, you may now use the re rename uh, option uh, to correct that. Uh, the other thing is that uh, during the presentations, uh, I kindly ask you, not now, but during the, uh, during the talks, uh, I, I uh, kindly ask you to mute uh, your speaker and uh, you may also turn off your uh, camera. Uh, if you would like to speak up, then uh, please use the raise hand button. Uh, you can find it after clicking uh, uh, on the reactions button and it will show up. I mean, this button uh, called raise hand. Uh, if the floor is given to you, then please unmute your speaker. You can also turn on your camera and, and you can start speaking. When, when finished, then please uh, mute again and uh, turn off uh, the, the camera. The chat line uh, can also be used. We will try to pay attention to that. And now I try to start that presentation. So uh, I have to share the screen. I try to do that. Yes. And full screen. 
Uh, can you see this? Yes. Okay. Great. Thank you. So, uh, I would like to speak about the past of the journal and uh, and uh, the present of the journal. So, um, some bits of history. As a consequence of uh, the political situation after the First World War, more precisely after the Trianon uh, Peace Treaty, the university in Cluj, uh, the Hungarian, na Hungarian name of, of Cluj is Kolozsvár, that had been established in 1872, uh, moved to Szeged in uh, 1921, and Alfred Haar and Frida Ries were professors of the university in Cluj, they also settled in Szeged and became the founders of the mathematical school here in Szeged. Now, in order to create the conditions uh, for uh, uh, high quality research in their new place of work, uh, they wanted to build an uh, appropriate mathematical library in Szeged. The reason uh, for that is that they had to leave behind uh, the, the, uh, the library in, in Cluj. So um, the financial possibilities were quite restricted. Uh, their plan, because, for that reason, their plan was that they would uh, establish and run a respected mathematical journal that uh, could be used in exchange for other periodicals. Uh, the, it turned uh, out that the idea really worked. They turned to several leading mathematicians of their times and asked them to submit some of their papers to the new journal. Uh, and on the list of authors in the first years, we find on, among others uh, the names of outstanding mathematicians such as uh, Sege, Neumann, Feyer, Poya, Wiener, Birkhoff, uh, Kartan, Zygmunt, and so on. The editors themselves uh, published their best papers here and asked their colleagues to, to do likewise. And the journal soon achieved high international respect. And to demonstrate that, let me quote from a paper uh, by Lorch entitled Seged 1934, it appeared in American Math Monthly, uh, uh, reading that uh, within a few years, the Octa Seged had a worldwide reputation. Every serious mathematics library receives it. So Seged is now known all over the world, at least to mathematicians. And uh, Jula Starr, he's a Hungarian scientific journalist, uh, wrote in a certain collection that uh, Seged soon became a research center in mathematics and many people refer to, the, to this town even today as the Hungarian Göttingen. Uh, uh, after establishing uh, such a, uh, a good journal, uh, Har and Ries uh, turned to editors and publishers of other renowned mathematical journals and offered uh, Okta Seged for exchange. Uh, just a few examples. Uh, in uh, 2000, uh, oh, it, <laughs> 1922, Ries wrote to uh, Maurice Frechet and sent him the first uh, facsimile of uh, Seged, Octa Seged, asking him to promote it. And Frechet, in a couple of days, replied and wrote that it would be an honor to receive Octa Seged and offered Ries in exchange uh, uh, the publications of the Mathematical Institute of the University of uh, Strasbourg. Uh, also, we know of a letter from uh, 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 letter from the same year by Hardy to Ries discussing the exchange of Akta Seged and also three letters by Mittag, Mittag Leffler on the same topic. So in a number of cases the exchange uh, really started and uh, by the 30s this library in Seged had the most extensive collection of mathematical journals in the whole Hungary. In addition several publishers uh, sent books uh, to the editors for review, which, as compensation for the review in the journal, came into the library's possession. And now a story about uh, Friedrich Ries as an editor. Uh, this is a quote from a paper entitled The Visit to uh, Hungarian Mathematics, appeared in, in uh, Math uh, Intelligencer. Uh, and the quote uh, reads as follows. The anecdote is told by Béla Szöke Nagy and John Horvath. Horvath was a longtime friend and colleague of Marcel Ries. Marcel Ries is, a, is the brother of uh, Friedrich Ries. Uh, it seems that Marcel once submitted the paper to Octa Seged. It was certainly a good paper, but Friedrich wrote to his brother, Marcel, you have written also better things. Uh, the fact is that I'm not sure about what happened, but it is my guess that finally this paper was rejected, but this is only a guess. Uh, to continue, 
Uh, to be fair, Marcel did publish in Atta Seged. Actually, in the first two uh, volumes, he published four papers. And uh, uh, after, so uh, uh, Alfred Har, Har uh, passed away, unfortunately, quite early in uh, 1933, and Friedrich Ries moved to Budapest in uh, 1946. And from that time to uh, uh, 1981, Béla Szöge Night was the editor-in-chief, and the journal continued to be a very highly respected periodical, periodical, especially in the areas of functional analysis and operator theory. Uh, besides uh, his, uh, besides uh, Sukhafai Vinod himself, other legends of those areas published their high impact papers uh, in Akta Seged in that uh, period. Uh, actually, it was a 35 years long uh, period. And we can mention the names of Ando Berkovich, uh, Kohn, uh, Chandler Davis, Gedoni, Dix Mier, Douglas, Dunford, Foyage, Gopper, Holmos, Helton, Krein, Langer. Naimak, Rajavi, Sarason, Vojkolescu, uh, and the list could be continued uh, further, who published in, in that uh, 35 uh, years. And some of the very important uh, papers by Söke Falvinaj, which were also published uh, in Akta Seged. Um, uh, first, I mentioned his famous paper about uh, uh, the uh, condition for an uh, operator to be uh, uh, similar to a, a unitary operator, and also uh, the series of papers uh, written by him and, uh, and Cyprian Foyash uh, sur, uh, about uh, contractions uh, of Hilbert space operators, which then uh, uh, gave the, 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 the foundation of their uh, famous uh, book, Harmonic Analysis of Operators on Hilbert Space. Uh, actually, you can see the French edition here and the first edition there. This is the black book and uh, the yellow one, the last edition. Um, okay, and let me show you the index of volume uh, 12 from uh, 1950, which was to celebrate uh, the 70th birthdays of uh, Feyer and Ries. And I don't know if you can read uh, the authors, the name of the authors, uh, let me let me just uh, read uh, a few of them: Bochner, Tichmar, Schiele, Wiener, uh, Jödonne, uh, Sherpinski, Danford, Rademacher, Walsh, Zygmunt, Stone, and so on. So, quite a big list of of, of, of big names. And from that period, when when uh, Söke Falvinaj was the editor in chief, a story. Uh, which was recently told uh, to me, to us, by uh, Tsuyoshi Ando, who paid a long visit to Saged in, uh, in uh, 1975 uh, 76. Actually, as far as I remember, he spent uh, nine months here. So the story is the following. I mean, it's a quote from him. Uh, I spent about one year from the autumn of uh, 1975 in Saged with Béla Szöke Falvinaj. When I came to Seged, Professor uh, S. Nagy uh, was the chief editor of Akta Seged, and one day he came to my office and asked me if I could referee a paper submitted to Akta by Zoya Ceausescu. Judging by the title, it seemed that the most suitable referee would have been Söke Falvinaj himself. But since Zoya was the daughter of Nikolai Ceausescu, uh, that time the president of Romania, uh, Söke Falvinaj was prudent. Uh, this was the first time I heard the name Zoya Ceausescu. Uh, I undertook the referee work. Uh, I read the, the manuscript carefully. And after a few days, I reported uh, to Professor Sokia Falvinai that the manuscript contained uh, new results and the publication was recommended. Uh, in addition, I reported that the manuscript contained an open problem and I could solve it. After a few more days, Professor S. Knight told me that she, Zoya, had a, apparently shown the problem to her mentor, uh, Cyprian Foyash, and they too had solved the problem. In fact, their solution was almost the same as mine. Again, after a few days, Professor Esna told me that the paper would be accepted as a joint paper of the triple Ando, Ceausescu, and Foyash. 
this was the paper entitled on intertwining dilations uh, uh, part two which was the second paper by Zoya Ceausescu and uh, the first one was also published uh, in Acta with a similar title. Okay, and uh, after uh, Silke Fabianaid uh, resigned uh, from the uh, editor-in-chief position, the next editors-in-chief uh, were L Laszlo Leindler from 82 to uh, 92, and then Laszlo Kerchi from uh, 93 to 2017. And uh, let me show, uh, for example, the, the uh, first uh, 10 most cited papers which, uh, which appeared in, in, in Matsign, uh, <laughs> which appeared in uh, Okta Seged, and uh, this list is according to uh, Matsignet. And here you can see in the first two positions, those papers are not about the functional analysis or uh, operator theory, but here you, we can see um, in the third position uh, on those paper on uh, dilations of the dilations of uh, 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 commuting contractions. Uh, actually, this is the most highly cited uh, paper uh, in Akta Seged, uh, which appeared uh, in, in operator from the area of operator theory. And then on the list, we can see uh, papers from functional analysis and operator theory. Maybe there is one exception, uh, another paper by uh, Prekopa. And uh, for example, we can see uh, the name Peter Schemerel on the list, uh, who will be with us or already with us, I don't know. And also uh, Ellen Kohn, uh, who will uh, give the first talk uh, tomorrow. Uh, okay, uh, this was the past, and what about the present? So, uh, as uh, uh, the head of the institute already mentioned, uh, from this uh, year, the journal is uh, published uh, by uh, Springer Nature Berkheiser, and we uh, substantially changed the uh, editorial board. Before that, we had a local editorial board, and now uh, we extended uh, that board uh, with uh, distinguished uh, mathematicians. Uh, uh, here you can see the list, and as for functionalist operator theory, let me point out the names of Harry Berkovich, uh, Kenneth Davidson, Fumio Hiai, Antonio Peralta, uh, Gilles Pissier, and Peter Schemmerer. So they are now editors of, of the journal. And let me show you the new front cover of the, of the uh, journal. And uh, here you can see two formulas. Uh, uh, the first formula is obviously uh, due to HAR. This is about uh, invariant measures, invariant integration. And the second one uh, is due to uh, Friedrich Ries. Uh, this is the formula of, uh, this is the general form of uh, bounded inner functionals on the C01. And there is a story behind this. Uh, let me tell you the story which uh, also appeared in, in that paper that I already mentioned, entitled Seged uh, 1934. Uh, in that paper, Lorch, uh, uh, Lorch as a first sentence is about Ries, uh, writes the following. At the European Congress of Mathematicians around 1910, three or four outstanding young mathematicians uh, sipping tea in a coffee decided to send a postcard to a highly esteemed English colleague uh, Hardy. Uh, no one signed his name. Instead, each put down the, the one formula he had discovered, which, um, uh, which had uh, made him famous. Ries put down his uh, representation formula for the general linear functional on the space of continuous functions C01, which is now known as uh, the Ries representation theorem. Needless to say, Hardy needed no prompting to unravel the card. And uh, let me also uh, announce that uh, uh, this year we will uh, uh, publish a double issue, double issue of uh, the volume 88, uh, which is devoted uh, to this uh, 100th anniversary, in which the community of researchers uh, in the fields of functionalism and operator theory uh, celebrates this remarkable event. Not to forget, uh, I, I learned this from Springer, that uh, our journal is the 
Stein's uh, oldest uh, and still active journal in mathematics worldwide. Uh, and the papers which will appear in that issue are written by renowned researchers. Uh, I invited them from those fields who in the past published. So they all published in the journal in the past. And uh, the speakers of this meeting are all among them. Um, and uh, after this, let me finish this uh, uh, presentation that I hope that uh, you will agree that uh, that collection which plan to be free. Ah, that's important. So uh, this is planned to be freely uh, accessible for, certain, for a certain time, um, around one month or, or, or something like that. Together with this celebratory meeting, we will prove to be a worthy uh, tribute to the great uh, predecessors. And let me also believe that they will serve as a firm foundation for the future of the journal. So thank you. Oh, no, uh, here is the list of uh, uh, of the papers, uh, the authors and, and, uh, and the titles of the papers, which uh, most probably uh, will be published in that, uh, in that uh, special issue. Um, currently, this is the order, this is the chronolo chrono chronological order. Um, uh, so the chronology of submissions. Uh, maybe the order will be uh, different uh, when we publish them, but here, this is the uh, the collection of all those papers. Uh, altogether, we, were, we, we have something like uh, 18, 19 papers, and the star marks uh, those, uh, the corresponding and the invited authors. So here's the first half of them, and uh, then the second half. Uh, I leave a short time to, to, to read uh, the names and maybe also the titles. And then, uh, thank you so much. This was the presentation and now I uh, stop sharing and let me see what comes next. Uh, yeah, so uh, after this, let me express my uh, greatest happiness that uh, I can now give the floor to uh, to, to really outstanding mathemat mathematicians, uh, speakers, and, and chairmen. First, I most kindly ask uh, Hari Berkovich, uh, Indiana University, uh, fellow of the American Mathematical Society and editor of our journal, to make some uh, personal comments on this uh, special, special occasion. And let me admit that as far as I uh, uh, see, he formally published uh, uh, 17 papers in our after. So, please. Uh, thank you very much, Lajos. I hope everybody can hear me. Uh, yeah, I can hear you. I can hear myself, but uh, <clears throat> I'm uh, very honored to be given this, uh, this uh, <laughs> prominent position at this conference. And... Um, <clears throat> um, Hello. We can hear you, but uh, we can we can't uh, we can't see you. Yeah, I don't know what's happening. Uh, okay, maybe. No, we can we can we can we can see you. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. So, so as I said, I'm very honored to be uh, to be given this uh, this uh, uh, prominent role here, and uh, thank you for promoting me to legend. That's, um, <laughs> I, I thought that would be more of a kind of an obituary thing, but, uh, but, uh, but, <laughs> but thank you anyway. Uh, so I, uh, I was, um, um, my, my early contact with the, with the journal was under, when the journal was under the leadership of, uh, of uh, Sigurd Volvinag, who was for us in Romania, a kind of a legend. And, uh, <clears throat> and uh, so he, but did um, I had already, and this is an episode that I, I perhaps recounted before uh, in a, a Seged conference, but uh, maybe the audience is not entirely uh, overlapping, so perhaps it would be interesting uh, for some of you. Uh, it's the fact that uh, after I had published a couple of papers, and I think uh, perhaps Sergei Falvinov wanted to encourage you know, a young, uh, young researcher, so I sent him uh, finally a paper, which I thought was my best work to date. And uh, it, was, uh, it was, I will not go into technical details because I'm not supposed to give a, take, a mathematical talk, but it was an operator theory, uh, an operator theory uh, 
paper uh, in the specialty of uh, circuit fault Vinog. And I knew from my mentor, Ciprian Foyesh, that, uh, that, uh, that circuit fault Vinog read all the papers in his area himself. So, um, so I was a little bit nervous about it, but anyway, I thought that was a really good work. And um, sure enough, after about three weeks, I get a uh, handwritten note from Sergei Falvinov. He had a very beautiful handwriting and all communications I had with him were in handwriting. So it was, uh, that's, that's, that's the way he did, uh, he did his business. And it said something like, uh, well, yeah, the, the result is very nice, but it would be so much better <laughs> if such and such were proved. <clears throat> uh, in other words, he rejected the paper. I mean, uh, after this, I, I, I could only view this as a rejection, but, uh, but, but, uh, but, uh, but uh, I think this illustrates how, uh, how um, uh, Professor Sergei Falvinoik combined his role as editor with the, his role as a mentor. Uh, because I know maybe he felt like I could do that thing. I, 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 at that time, I felt that I could not do it. So, uh, so I thought I was pretty, pretty, unfor pretty unhappy at the time. <clears throat> and um, <clears throat> at some point, uh, yeah, I met uh, Dan Voikulescu and I told him about the story. And then Dan insisted that I should explain to him what the problem is. And, and then I, eventually he got involved into this, into this business and together about and two years later, uh, we managed to prove the, the thing that, uh, that uh, Seke Falvinoik wanted us to prove. So, uh, <clears throat> uh, so anyway, that's, uh, that's, that's my story of, uh, that's my story. And over the years, I have, of course, uh, published other papers in the, in, in the journal. Uh, but uh, this, uh, to me, was really a, a formative, uh, formative uh, event because uh, it showed me that, uh, yeah, quality matters. You know, one has to one has to prove the best thing that one can do under the under the given circumstances, and uh, and then uh, just pushed me in that direction. And then I'm very happy that he did because that's uh, uh, that's uh, uh, <clears throat> uh, that's something that I try to do ever since. And uh, <clears throat> um, for those of you who want to uh, to look at the paper, it was published in 1977. <clears throat> and and I still think it's one of my best uh, my best works. So again, thank you very much for the invitation, and uh, and I will uh, I'll stop here. <clears throat> okay, thank you so much. C can you hear me? I don't know if I, I can. Uh, thank you. So uh, thanks very much for your uh, for the interesting story, which is quite parallel to the story what I uh, mentioned about. Uh, 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 Rees, uh, and uh, also thanks for your kind words. And now I'm very happy to announce that uh, three scientific talks will follow. All speakers of the talks uh, at this meeting, as I already mentioned, uh, contribute to the uh, anniversary uh, issue. Uh, and uh, so with uh, much respect, I ask Professor uh, Gilles Pissier, Texas A&M University, also fellow of the American Mathematical Society and also an editor of our journal to chair the following three talks. So please. Thank you very much. Uh, can you hear me now? Yes, yes, yes. Okay, very good. I, I I'm got very worried that my connection is unstable. So, oh. you know, if I get disconnected, please take over. But uh, it's been stable in the last 10 minutes. So I think it looks like it's okay now. So 